Hello. I just got done watching Gary V's 95% of you will ignore this 2018 marketing strategy. And I had a few things that I came away with it. To start with, from the opening, I got five, four things that I felt were important. Of those things, optimism, gratitude, and a positive mindset. Instead of looking for reasons why not, we should be looking for reasons why we do things. Another one of those is that communication never changed. It's just the way I communicate. We've never I hear that all the time, but it's something we need to hear a lot. Technology doesn't care about how we feel. Nobody, if you don't get on board, you'll get left behind. And that the internet is grossly, mis or grossly underrepresented in marketing. Another item I took from his video was that if you don't have the humility to try new things, but you want to run your own life, what in the hell are you thinking? I totally get that. However, I'm not in the same boat. I guess I have a few things to learn. One of those is I need to learn how to use Instagram. And I need to start figuring out how these ad platforms work. And figuring out where I'm going to where I'm gonna get customers from. And how the price of the customer against the sale of each customer is going to affect the bottom line. One of the things I got from the video was where are new companies advertising? You know, there's a lot of companies who are doing Facebook and Instagram right now. Where are they going to be at two years? The people that figured out the Wish app, like he was talking about, used pattern recognition. That's something that I can do, so I'm going to have to start paying attention to that. Just with a short little thought on that on my phone, I get a lot of my apps through games, through pauses in between loading screens on apps, and I think that might be a new venue that's up and coming. I'll have to check on the pricing of it against the price of Facebook and Instagram for ads, uh, as well as check the amount of people that are using certain apps and games against the lifestyle of people that I'm trying to market to. Another item I got was how the more inputs people have for an advertising channel and the, the more the price goes up so if one person wants to advertise on that channel it might only cost a penny but by the time you get a thousand people advertising on that channel it might cost ten dollars uh, having an audio strategy I felt like that was a natural point that I should have got but haven't picked up on yet for my up-and-coming business, I think advertising on Pandora would be a good option for that or any of the up-and-coming music streaming apps. But once again, I've been focusing on school and not on social media and new apps, so I'll have to do a little research and figure out what's going on with that. I hope you guys have a nice day, and I hope that my takeaways from Gary V's video, 95% of you will ignore this marketing strategy in 2018 has entertained you at least a little bit.